Let's talk about discipline. It's one of those topics that people don't really like when it applies to them, but they want it to apply to other people. And discipline is very important in all of our lives. I, I look at discipline as this. A discipline is doing what you have to do even when you don't want to. All right, that's self-discipline. But what about when you have to discipline others, particularly children? Well, that's what I want to talk about today. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11, the Bible tells us this. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. But later, it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Wow, that's good. That is, excuse me, let me get this. There we go. That is really good. So, what makes that so good? Well, as a father, when I'm disciplining my children, I don't really want to, okay? Um, yes, I want the outcome of discipline. I want them to behave. I want them to uh, you know, do as they're told and, uh, and, and not have a spirit of rebellion, but instead a spirit of, of love and, um, and obedience. But when it comes time to actually doing the discipline, Providing in in the way that I see discipline is causing some sort of pain in their life, so that they understand that there are con that there are consequences for their actions, and that pain can come in all sorts of ways. Okay, um, I'm never going to advocate any sort of um, hurting hurting a child or anything like that. But what I mean by pain, it could be anything. Um, and it could be relative, and it should be relative to that child and what they need, right? Every child is different, and you need to figure that out as a parent. But it could be removing certain privileges. It could be um, uh, removing um, freedoms, you know, uh, things like that, especially when they get older. Um, I think that's a, a really good one, you know. Um, I've seen all types of ways parents get very inventive when it comes to that sort of thing. But it's not something you want to do. And I, I know as a dad, I, I don't want to discipline my kids, but I have to, and I'm going to. I, I've, I've done it from the very beginning of their lives, and I'm going to continue until it's no longer my job to do so. Um, it's one, because God has placed that upon me, and two, is because I know that if I don't discipline them now, the government will discipline them later. And all they are going to be in for is a world of hurt in their own lives. And that's why I say that that, that when you discipline a child, um, it is providing some sort of pain in their life um, so that they understand that that's a consequence. Now, you are giving them some minor, minor, minor pain in their life, taking away something or whatever it is that you might be doing. But the pain that they will have later on in life if they don't get discipline is by far worse, okay? So let's break this verse down for a minute. It says, for the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. Very true, right? Um, there is no form of discipline that seems like it's pleasant. Um, it always hurts. It's always something that you don't want to go through. The kids don't want it. I heard someone say this one time before when... Um, the topic was brought up about disciplining the child. The, the parent literally said that, well, we don't want to do that because they don't like it. That's the point. That's exactly the point. Then you need to do that more. Um, and what was crazy is what we recommended, and this is through my business, but uh, you know, sometimes they, they we get parents that will ask us questions about what we recommend, and, and we give them those answers. But... Um, what we recommended to them, they did, and it worked. That it was effective, but the parent was like, "No, we're not going to do that anymore because it's uh, they don't like it." Okay, well, you're going to keep getting what you're, you're what you're getting. All right, nothing's going to change. Um, and as a matter of fact, you you're the one to blame when this child grows up to be a menace to society. All right, it is your job as a parent to discipline your children. Yes, it's un unpleasant. It should be unpleasant for both of you. If you enjoy disciplining your kids, I think you're sick. I think there's something wrong with you. Um, it shouldn't be something that you want to do, that you're happy to do. Why? Why in the world would, would, would you want that? But 
it is something that, again, that we will do. It says, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who've been trained by it. In other words, it's good for them, and it's going to be good for them later on down the road. That's why you need to do it. And by the way, that's why your heavenly father chastises or disciplines you and me, all right? Because we're his child. He doesn't discipline people who are not his children. He disciplines those who are his children. You don't discipline people who aren't your children, right? I don't either, by the way. You know, when um, we've got a business that deals with kids. Again, I'm a bivocational pastor for those that don't know. So that means I, I work a, a, or I've got a business on the side. Uh, as well as, uh, you know, being a pastor. But, um, you know, we work with kids and, and uh, you know, I'm not going to discipline somebody else's, that's, that's not my responsibility. Um, I don't want to do it um, by no means. But sometimes, you know, there's a recommendation um, where they'll ask because they know we've got, you know, 30 plus years of experience uh, doing it. And so they'll ask. And we give recommendations on, you know, hey, this kid, what we see is this or that the other and then they move forward from there but i've never been in a place where i'm like um yeah i'm going to discipline somebody else's kids all right no no it's not mine not my job uh, not something i need to be doing um so there are also one there's, there's one more piece that we need to consider when we're reading proverbs Specifically because I drew this out of the book of Proverbs, uh, we need to understand some truths here. So it says, for the moment, the discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the pleasant fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. So that sounds like a promise, doesn't it? It's not. It's not a promise. It's a proverb. All right. It's just like over in, I believe, Hebrews, or not Hebrews. Oh. I thought we were in Proverbs. Apparently we're in Hebrews. <laughs> okay. Well, I was going to talk about Proverbs chapter 22. I just had to relook at it again, um, the uh, verse that I wrote down. But um, in, um, in Proverbs chapter 22, the Bible talks about uh, training up your children in the Lord. And when they're old, um, they, uh, and the way that, train up your children the way they should go. Um, and when they are old, they will not depart. Well, so people are like, well, I did my part and, and I did my job and I trained them the way they should go. So they shouldn't be, um, you know, departing from the Lord. Well, again, you got to understand that that's a, a proverb is a general statement of truth, but it doesn't mean that it's a direct promise. There's plenty of good kids or, or, or excuse me, good parents that raise bad kids, P parents that did what they were supposed to. Remember that it's an individual choice. And even here in the book of Hebrews, yeah, it's telling you that this this is a general truth that that you know later on they'll appreciate it. They'll appreciate that discipline. But remember they have a choice. All right? So they can choose to accept the discipline and move forward in their life in a positive and productive way, or they can choose to be bitter. They can choose to be angry. They can choose to lash out. They can choose to hate you. Um, but the thing is, that has nothing to do with you. You can't stop that from happening. Um, you know, there are plenty of kids that would grow up and um, be upset with you because you didn't discipline them. And by the way, a lot of good kids, when they grow up, they'll tell their parents things like this. You probably should have disciplined me more because they look back at how, um, you know, they – the parents missed some things, right? And uh, the, the kids are like, yeah, I, I probably deserve more. Uh, but that's a good kid. That's a kid that has grown up and, and has understood the assignment, right? They understood that, um, you know, what it's about, all right? So anyway, I hope this helps you when you think about disciplining and when you think about your own discipline, when God is disciplining you, because it's not just for parents. This is for all of us when we think about receiving discipline. It's not a bad thing. It comes from love. Um you know, that's that's we, we care about the outcome of uh, that individual. We care about where they go and how they grow in the Lord and in life and so forth. So therefore, we discipline them. And the same reason why God disciplines us. So let's take heart in this and know that, yes, it's not pleasant. It's not something that you want to do, but it's something that you need to do is discipline your children. I believe that the world would be a much better place if more parents would purposely discipline their children. Remember, we're not talking about... Um, you know, causing abuse or anything like that, that's terrible. But we're talking about discipline. All right? Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.